got a chance anyway. Uh, you kangaroos are always talking big. She spins like a top, doesn't she? Yeah. <laughs> chatter, you guys, and keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> You're right, Laura. I'm sorry. If that's an egg, where did our ball go? Huh? I'm sure it fell right around here somewhere. We'll never find it in all this long grass. I guess we'd better leave that egg where it was. Oh, no, on a baseball field, somebody's sure to step on it and smash it. Well, what are we going to do with it? Don't worry, I'll give it tender loving care. I'll bet some poor worried mother is looking everywhere for her egg right now. Diamond. Let me have the egg, Laura. Oh, I couldn't do that. I'm going to take good care of it and be its mother. You can't be its mother. But if I keep it warm and safe until it hatches, then in a way I really will be its mother, won't I? You don't know what it is. I don't care what it is. I love it anyway. little girl trying to hatch a strange egg. It's just as natural. Well, at least, Papa, it shows that Laura has a tender heart, and someday she'll be a wonderful mother. No, I could sneak in there and steal that egg. Don't even consider it, Rubear. Laura would never forgive you if you did a heartless thing like that. She loved that egg. <laughs> hey, Rubear, what kind of egg do you think that was you found the other day? It could be almost anything. I wonder... Could be the egg of a giant lizard. A, a giant, giant lizard? lizard? Oh, Lou, a bat. The baseball diamond's right beside the beach. It could be the egg of some horrible sea monster. Sure, that's it. Or maybe it came from outer space. An extraterrestrial. They found an egg on the beach? I think I know what that is. I'm making it specially for you, little egg. You'll see. You can go everywhere I go. Whee! And when you hatch, I'll tell you I'm your mother, and we'll have a happy life together, no matter what you look like. Where are you, Laura? Right here. Why, Laura, where did you get that pretty new dress? I made it myself, Mama, to carry my egg in. Oh, you are a sweet little girl, Laura. I made slippers to match. And a purse, too. Wonderful. But staying in your room all day isn't good for your health, you know, dear. We should go outside and play with the other children for a while. Yeah! 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 Oh, right. yeah!
Now, you go and take a nice hot bath, Laura, so you won't catch cold. Okay. But I can't take a hot bath. It wouldn't be good for my eggs. Why am I shivering? Laura, I hope it doesn't mean... Yes, you've got a fever, dear. Oh, fever? Oh. There's no need to worry. Her fever will soon go down and she'll be as right as rain. Oh, good. That's wonderful, Doctor. I'm so worried. Why has she got an egg in bed with her? It's the egg on the golden bird and I'm going to hatch. Then I'll look after it and it's brother. A golden bird's egg? It's just an egg she found and she insists on hatching it herself. Oh, but she has a fever. Oh, yes. I'm sure the doctor's right, Laura. Until you get better, why not give the egg to me? I'll guard it carefully and keep it nice and warm. The temperature is too high for the egg right now. back to normal. So here's your egg. I've kept it nice and warm for you, just as I promised. Thank you, Mommy. Hey there. When are you going to come out of your shell? Huh? Something moved inside there. Huh? Oh, it's the baby turtle. Well, to tell you the truth, I'm surprised it hatched. Hey, Papa, come and look at what Laura's got. I don't mind that it's a baby turtle instead of a golden bird. Isn't he a cute little fellow? Look at that. So it turned out to be a baby turtle. Oh, Mommy, Papa, can I keep my baby turtle and watch him grow up? Please, can I? Huh? But, Laura... You'll have to put him in the ocean, Laura. Oh, no, I don't want to. Ah, the turtles have to live in the sea. He'll die if you keep him here. If you want to make him happy, you'll let him go. Oh, I want to be a mother to my turtle. Oh, I don't want to put him in the sea. Oh, it's that. The turtle legs have all hatched at the same time. They've just come out of their eggs, but already they know that they should head straight for the sea. It's the kind of instinct that they're born with. They'll live out their whole lives without ever knowing their parents. If they saw them, they wouldn't know them. That's very sad. I feel sorry for them not knowing their parents. Ruby! Oh. Mm -hmm. It's Mommy and Papa. Laura looks so sad. Hey, Laura, I hope you're feeling better. Oh, Laura, my turtle. I have to let him go. Said, Laura, and he's right because you really were his mother. <laughs> 